Hi everyone, um, I just wanted to share another Shadowbox card, birthday card that I made. Um, this one's for my aunt who is going to be 90 uh, in a few days time. Um, obviously this is made more in the traditional style. Um, being an old lady, they're not really into shabby chic or grunge. So. Um, this is what I came up with for her. It's a bit difficult to capture it as it's an awkward shape. Again, it's another stepper card. Um, it says you're also special and the next step, congratulations. And again, 90. Um, I made the bling numbers again like I did before using my Fiskus shape cutter to cut out the numbers and then adding a load of bling over the top of it. Um, then I made the shadow box um, up out of um, pink card. Um, well, it's a white card with a pink flowery design on it, but then at the back afterwards I painted it with pink paralysed paint. Um, this time I've added some of the silver mesh bling around the edge um, and made up a spray of flowers out of uh, Wild Orchid Craft various lovely blooms and, um, and then here's a little butterfly made out of um, some sort of netting um, and then I made the body out of pearls and um, a bit of wire for the antennae. It's fairly simple but I hope she'll like it. I think it's very pretty. Um, and then on the back again I've used the Spellbinder oh, sorry it's hard to keep it in front the Spellbinder die to um, make the sentiment for it. Obviously I've written it already so it's functional. And a piece of ribbon there to stop it from sliding open too far. Anyway, I'm really hoping that she'll like it. Um, as I say, we're going down to visit and um, it's nice to take something a bit special down for her and I know that she'll appreciate the fact that it's been handmade especially for her. Um, while we're down there, we're also going to visit another friend, another old friend, whose birthday it is as well and so I've made another smaller version um, of a shadow box card for her too. Um, she's also in her 80s so didn't want anything too uh, over the top. So I've just put a little bit of gold mesh bling around here. I've used a bit of the paper from the Sunrise, Prima Sunrise collection by Finnevar in the background and uh, she likes orange so I've just made her little orange spray of flowers and then I've highlighted around the edge here with the um, Tim Holtz Distress Ink in the Spiced Marmalade. Couldn't remember which one it was. Right? Um, and then inside again I've used the um, Spellbinders um, die cuts again to add the sentiment. Um, I think it's a shadow box card, uh, made in the same way as the other two cards. So, there we are, that's the two cards. I'm not really that into making cards anymore, I'd much prefer to be doing 
my art, mixed media or art generally. But, uh, you know, people have birthdays, so sometimes you have to do some other creations. Anyway, I hope you like them, and I look forward to hearing your comments. And thanks very much for watching. Take care now. Bye.